So there is a new Dragon Ball movie coming out soon, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. So a lot of the voice actors will be coming together to get ready to voice the characters in English when this movie drops. I'm sure they're going to have a good time talking about the best ways to cover up for their friend, Damon Mills. Now, I did a video on this yesterday talking about all of the disgusting things that this man has been accused of, a lot of allegations surrounding him. And I also pointed out how this man tried to work and do the best he could to destroy Vic Mignogna, someone who was accused of some things on very, very, very little to no evidence. Basically, hugs and jelly bean jokes. Now, this person is being accused of much more. In fact, I have some text messages that were placed over on the farms that I want to show you because they're pretty disgusting. One of the reasons that I wanted to make this video today was to, one, show you the new stuff that came out. Two, to point out the fact that all of the voice actors in the anime community are ignoring this. I'm surprised uh, Anime News Network even covered it. Some of the biggest voices during Kick Vic. You remember that movement? The online dedicated group that wanted to, or the online group dedicated to wanting to destroy Vic Mignogna. Uh, they're very quiet now. One of the biggest voices, Mars Girl. Doesn't have much to say about this one. She keeps, actually, every time that it's brought up, she reroutes the conversation back to Vic Mignogna. The reason that she doesn't want to go after Damon Mills is because of the fact that she is well aware of the fact that Mills is good friends with Monica Real and Jamie Markey. Do you think they're going to go after one of their friends? Also... He's gay. The victim is a male, a 16-year-old male. I think he might be older now, but 16, 17, doesn't matter. Uh, he's a man, and male victims don't get the same kind of the same kind of attention that female victims get. Victims get. Uh, Jamie, Monica, Mars girl, they don't give a shit about this victim. They don't give a shit about what Damon Mills did either. They don't care because he's a friend and he's also a protected class. So because of that, the anime industry and all the voice actors are going to try their best to sweep this under the rug and memory hole it. I guarantee you they will all stay silent about it. Let me show you some of the things. This also, and I should have, I should have pointed this out in yesterday's video, Damon Mills pulled some really nasty shit with Kamea Khan. Here's him. Here's him praising Jamie and Marky. There's the Dallas News article for you people that have been around since I was covering the Vic Mignogna stuff. Uh, this is the Dallas News article that was smearing the hell out of Vic Mignogna. So incredibly proud of these two ladies and everyone else who has stood up to fight this. Never let others tear you down and silence your voice. Love you all. Uh, here is what I showed yesterday of him saying that survivors do not owe you any information or evidence regarding anything in this or any case this sensitive. I'm glad they've spoken up to keep you all in the loop. But everybody needs to sit down and stop attacking people who have been brave and shared their stories. Now, what's funny is he actually is trying to stop his victim by giving him a cease and desist letter and threatening him with a lawsuit. I, what happened to believing survivors and, and encouraging them to come forward, Damon Mills? There's the same one. Here is the, the Kamea Khan, uh, the tweet that he put out. I'm profoundly sorry and regret to say that I have withdrawn my upcoming appearance at Kamea Khan. This has come after a great deal of thought and ultimately comes down to following what I feel is right. Please understand we're working on a way to make this up to the fans. So 
he was one of the people that made a big stink about Vic Mignogna going to Kamehacon with Drew, made a huge deal about it like some other voice actors. It's just funny. And it's also funny how cons are covering up for him. Here's a con that he was scheduled to appear at. He's no longer going to be there. March 18th was the date. You can see it right here. He's canceled it, said due to personal circumstances. Uh, he won't be there. He's, he sends his regrets. Uh, personal circumstances, sure. It's funny how this is all being framed for him. Oh, also, if you're criticizing this, uh, it's it's not about the victim. It's more so homophobia. The Damon, the Damon Mills thing reeks of homophobia. Reads like the high school drama it is and strikes me as something you contact a therapist to talk about. Not anime effing news network. I don't know. It's just trashy. Hey, isn't it weird how many people are ready to dogpile this guy at the drop of a hat? Are Vic stands? Our Vic stands, isn't that just particularly strange, bizarre? No, what we're doing is point out how hypocritical all of you are and how you ignore this. You completely ignore this. You're ignoring this victim, and you're trying to memory hole and cover this up. And now, because of his sexual orientation, the victim doesn't matter. All that matters is his sexual orientation. And if you call out and you try to bring attention to this, well, you're just an istophobe now. You see how this is... How this is playing out. Oh, let's take a look at some of the things that Damon Mills said to this victim. Uh, we actually have a bunch of the chat logs that were uploaded to Anime News Network. Some people over at Kiwi Farms posted it. I just want to share some of the things that he was saying to a 16-year-old boy. I know Esekai boners make you focus real good, though, heart. They make you want to do one thing. Have you tried Erm playing with it? Yeah, XD and hmm. Yeah, and you know, have you tried touching your dick to get it going? Sorry. Oh, no, no, no sorries. Maybe try that if you want. I don't know. If not, we can try later when you're more awake. Here's another one. Have you measured yourself? Yeah, when I was like 13. Stupid kid, why are you reminding me of dumb stuff? Because is funny. How big? Like, 0 0.2. What? Lol. CM. Lol. Okay. No. Sorry's answer from you. I see. What? You are not CM. I know that, XD. But okay, don't tell me. What? Never mind. Um, if you, had one, if you had to choose one sexual thing to have done to you, what would it be? Here's another one. But, please, I'd love to see how big you are. Here. Hands magnifying glass. Psh. I bet it's fine. Suckable, even. I mean, what? See? It's like a pencil eraser. Pretty neato. Step. You're not even trying. Here's another one. No, SK? Just, do you want to try to get into it? How can I help you get it up? I don't know. Have you tried touching it? If I can't get it up, that's what I do. Well, sorry. I'm getting antsy. No, and true, and huh? Why don't you try? And never mind, but yeah, focus for a minute, Kay. Kisses your neck. Come on, I know you love sex stuff just as much as the next guy. Sex stuff? Question mark. Getting horny, fapping, everyone likes to, and uh, you've got me more stirred up than anyone has before. So can you please, for me, if you get in that mindset, I can probably be more helpful. Well, I'm sure that this is all a case of... Uh, Istophobia, you know, this is all this is. It's, that's all it is. It's not this guy being a predator in his 20s and going after young fans because that's what this is. Uh, young fan that wanted to get to know this voice actor and him being really creepy and sexual with a teenager. This is all just istophobia. And the very self-righteous anime community has got nothing to say on this. But they were so vocal about victims and predatory behaviors before, but now there's nothing. It's almost like they're a pack of giant hypocrites. Anyway, you're not going to see him get in any trouble. I guarantee he gets more roles. He loses no roles. Uh, he's in with the crowd that matters. Monica, Jamie, 
Sabbath, Shemel, all of them like him. They're also all going to protect him because of his sexual orientation. And the victim is a man. So let's be honest. Nobody cares about a male victim. And because of that, he's going to get to walk away and continue to do this shit, probably with another young fan in the future. This is why I don't watch English voice. This is why I don't watch English voice dubs. This whole situation disgusts me. And uh, to be honest, it really pisses me off. And it's just the case of another hypocrite, another male feminist, another ally getting exposed for who they really are. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Uh, please throw a like up, share the video, make sure you make sure you're still subscribed, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. It's usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.